Welcome to the morning update. I'm Erin Roan. Labor's power bill will sail through federal parliament today. The Greens and some crossbenchers have agreed to support the legislation. It will see gas and coal prices capped for 12 months in a bid to bring down power bills. The father of the two gunmen involved in a fatal shooting rampage west of Brisbane has spoken publicly. Ron Train hadn't seen his sons, Nathaniel and Gareth, for decades and says his heart goes out to the families of the two police officers and the neighbour who were gunned down. He's told Nine, growing up, Gareth was always fascinated by guns. I just could not understand how something like this could have occurred with with two children who'd been raised with certain beliefs, uh, Christian beliefs, But they went down this track, this dark track, which we we have no understanding of. The two men and a woman were later shot dead by police. Some of the biggest tech companies stand accused of not doing enough to combat child sexual abuse on their platforms. Earlier this year, legal notices were sent to a stack of companies, including Apple, Meta, Microsoft, Skype and Snap, to determine what they are doing to stamp out the issue. What we found is that some companies are making an effort, while others are doing little but none of them are doing enough. That's eSafety Commissioner Julie Inman-Grant there. NASA will lead a mission to take a look at the Earth's oceans, lakes and rivers from space. For the very first time, the advanced radar satellite will give scientists a better look at the mechanics and the impacts of climate change. And Twitter has suspended an account that monitors the flight paths of owner Elon Musk's private jet. The billionaire previously pledged to keep the account in line with his free speech principles. To sport now and to the FIFA World Cup, France and Morocco will battle it out this morning for a place in the final alongside Argentina. Argentina already threw after a 3-0 win over Croatia. To cricket and the Aussie women have beaten India in their third T20 match in Mumbai. The visitors taking that one by 21 runs there. And in the men's big bash, the strikers had a 51-run win over the Sydney Sixers. For even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. In entertainment news, and Taylor Swift has rung in her 33rd birthday and fans, the ones who are receiving gifts, the singer teasing new music by sharing a pic of her with longtime collaborator Jack Antonoff. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.